It's time for semi-final two and the highlights tonight will bring together the combined campuses and colleges Marooners up against the Trinidad and Tobago Red Force. They're all playing for a place in the final on Sunday against the Ghana Jaguars. And we've got the highlights here live from Kensington Oval. Hello everyone, welcome again, I'm Barry Wilkinson. Well, what a day, what a tremendous match we're about to watch because the news from the middle was that CCC, they won the toss and they put Trinidad and Tobago Red Force into bat. A couple of team changes. Sulu Narayan was back for TNT and they dropped Imran Khan, the leg spinner. For the CCC, Gordon comes in at the expense of Buchanan and they were the only two changes for both sides respectively. So CCC win the toss, putting the opposition into bat. Let's go to the middle and see what target the TT team will set. Hakim Jordan, the man who's charged with the first ball for CCC. Here we go. Linda Simmons indicating his intent early on, having a go at that short and wide delivery as I welcome with me Securely Ambrose. Thank you, young Badri. I anticipating a fantastic, intriguing, pulsating second semi finals between these two teams. Excellent delivery. Cutting Simmons in half. Movement off the pitch. That one would have hit the seam. Just outside off stump. Coming back sharply. Good delivery. Good seam movement there, circuitly. That would give you some goosebumps. And the Red Force are off the mark. Single to Simmons. That's pulled away up in the air, just falling safely. We'll only get one. So, like I said, Linda Simon has demonstrated his intent early on. He's not going to just sit around, he's looking to put back the ball. Excellent delivery, and the finger goes up. What a start here for the CCC Marooners. This man, German Levy, excellent delivery to get rid of the experienced Lindell Simmons. And the first wicket falls inside the second over. This is exactly the kind of start that Carlos Bratwick would be looking for. A gem of a delivery. He had to play at that one and finding the outside edge. Leslie Rifa Jr. had no hesitation there in raising that finger. Good delivery. Certainly was a classic pitch just about off stump. Squared up Lendell Simmons, took the edge, and he's gone for two. TNT Red Force, three for one. I just wonder if Sulnarine will be a little bit more conservative at the fall of that early wicket. We've got Nicholas Curtin on the mic. Nicholas, how are you, mate? I'm good. What about you? Yeah, not too bad. It's an ideal start. Exactly what you would have wanted in this encounter. Yeah, definitely. Another edge, another wicket. Second one goes down for the Red Force. This time, Akim Jordan, the man picking up the edge. Similar dismissal to the previous one of Lyndall Simmons. This time, it's Sunil Narayan, the dangerous Sunil Narayan, who has been sent in to do a job has to go on this occasion another court behind another excellent delivery back of a length going across the left-handed batsman this is what you were looking for this is what the marooners were after winning the toss inserting the red force and the bowlers have backed up the captain at this stage excellent delivery circuitly it certainly was pitch on about middle stump went across the left-handed sinuna ryan took the edge and he's gone for one tnt in some trouble here Some good seam movement. That one J just coming back off the seam. Another edge, another court behind. And they are on fire, the CCC Marooners. Look at him go. Excellent.
excellent bit of fast bowling here at the Kensington Oval. The CCC Marooners have the Trinidad and Tobago Red Force three for the loss of three in only the third over as well. So all threes. Another beautiful delivery. Took the edge of Jason Mohammed. And both bowlers are using the conditions to perfection. There's a bit of bounce and see movement. And the key thing here, the bowling in the right areas. Look at this. Beautiful delivery. Jason Mohammed. Jason Mohammed is gone for zero. Akim Jordan, two wickets in this over. Let's see how he ends it. One oh, another chance for wicket, and it's another catch. Excellent delivery there again from Akim Jordan. Two wickets in two balls, and the captain of the Red Force has to depart in his first delivery. What an over is this? Three wickets in this over, certainly. Excellent start here for the CCC Marooners. They couldn't have really stripped this one. This is a dream start. Look at that. Dennis Ramden, the captain, pushing at the delivery and a diving catch. Beautiful catch, inches off the ground. First ball. And he was in tight as well. That's good captaincy, bringing that man very tight so that he can get that spoon catch. Look at the elation, look at the jubilation, look at the celebration. Dennis Ramden has to go for a golden duck. Four for three to try and go red force. Excellent shot there from Darren Bravo. Just leaning on that one, finding the gap. Excellent timing, excellent placement. The first boundary of the innings. This is the class of the man. Half volleys, he rarely ever misses out on these. Slightly over pitch delivery this time by German Levy. Single to end the over. Oh no, it's gone through. Oh, that was sloppy. There he goes, going, going, gone. Puran gets the party started and now the man inside the party stand has got reason to flutter his flag. And that's what Nicholas Buran does well. It's all about being selective. And on this occasion, he's executed marvelously. That's a good cricket shot and the short side as well. To the Mitchell and Newick side. Which is over long on. In the air, but just dropping short. Did he drop it? Did it carry? Didn't carry, but there was certainly a, a good effort, very good effort there in the day. Yes, I, I know and Nicholas Buran is going to try to take on Agasar. Doesn't have to just got away from that. Not Lee. With a big dive in, just dropping short. Well, I can tell you here that Carlos Bathard is having a bit of a discussion with Curtin, former under 19 captain. Team Jordan, of course, they're probably discussing how things should roll in terms of bowling. If she's going to bowl anymore, he's going to bowl out at least five or six, or is he going to go the distance? I can just see Floyd Rifa in India now, smiling from ear to ear. He's a man who has worked with this team. Of course, he's been called to higher heights now to be the batting coach at the moment for the West Indies. But he's been with this team for over a decade now and he's worked really hard, Floyd Rifa. So we're about to have a resumption. Yeah! Oh, they're peeling and he's gone! That was a very loose shot from Nicholas Buran. Another lapse in breaking concentration and this is indeed disaster for TNT, 20 for 5, can you believe it? Akeem Jordan, he's on fire. Nicholas Buran, not reading the situation. 
as one would like him to. And playing a loose shot as well, Barry. Oh, the right force are in dire straits right now. 20 for five. Single taken. Cracked away, gone for four, too short, too wide. And DJ Bravo finally comes to the party. That's what he brings to the table. That is a sensational back cut trademark from Dwayne Bravo. Look at this, too wide. delivery superb delivery there to dismiss Darren Bravo absolutely destroyed and that's Zakim Jordan fifth wicket as well he shoulder arms and bowlers oh we love this we love when the batsman shoulder arms and they get the all stump clip stunning delivery oh have a look wonderful delivery poor judgment by Darren Bravo and absolutely bamboozled, absolutely destroyed. Oh, Barry, the students are on fire. Well, this has been spectacular stuff. Darren Bravo, ball for six, and TNT are six down. Only 25 on the tins. The 2018-2019 Super 50 Cup is brought to you by Cricket West Indies. Another day of action in the Super 50 Cricket Cup. Oh, that's punched over the top brilliantly. Oh, that was sweet timing. Windward Islands return to defend their title. That's the winning shot. They take the title. Against the top clubs from the Caribbean, Canada, that's and the USA. Fantastic shot. October 4th through the 28th. Live on ESPN and ESPN Play. For everything cricket, go to ESPNCrickInfo.com. Oh, this is going to be an additional run. Bit of sloppy feeling there. That's a big appeal. Can he be out? Oh, I think that might be hitting the middle stump. Umpire Dugget. Oh, Barry, I think this might be plump. I think that is out, Barry. That's a very good shout. Now it's struck firmly over mid off, over pitched and dispatched. There's a big hill for them to climb here, Ambi. Certainly, it's a big hill. I would say more like a mountain. I mean, with six weeks already back in the hatch. That just tells out how wonderful this game of cricket is. So it doesn't doesn't matter how strong you look on paper, dude. You still got to go in into the middle and do the job. Oh, it's beautifully played all along the ground. Lovely timing. That is, and that is Dwayne Bravo at his best. Jamie leave his string a little bit on leg stump, whipped away through square leg for four. Oh. Uh, took his eye off that one, didn't really bounce as he thought, so he had to wear it. 42 for six after 14. bit sloppy there oh, 
Drake's the fielder. Really should have stopped that. It's a big shot there from Kylon Pollard, straight back past the bowler. One bounce into the boundary. Excellent option there. Straight back past the bowler. That's what the area that he'd be looking for. Anything that's in his zone, in his arc, he'd be taking it on, the big man. He's being selective so far in this innings. He goes again, this time straight to the field at low, and a wonderful catch! Excellent catch there by Nicholas Clinton, diving forward, those are never easy, I can tell you that. And the big man, Kyron Pollard, has to go, and like Tino Bess was alluding earlier, I've gotten another wicket. Oh, I was saying that he was selective, but what a catch from Young Curtin. Otley tossing it, not afraid at all of big Kyron Pollard. But what a stunning catch. That's a good grab. Low, attacking the ball. Oh, take a ball, young man, you little beauty. You little ripper. That is a beautiful catch. What is going through Dwayne Bravo's mind? Do you have any idea? That's what they're going to get from Dwayne Bravo. He's going to play a shot six over extra cover. Lovely shot there inside out. That's a trademark Dwayne Bravo shot. This is what you're going to get from him. He's going to continue to bat positively and rightly so. It doesn't make sense just batting out the 50 overs and getting to 120. But look at the shot into that area that he so much favors Dwayne Bravo. Extra cover has always been a strong area. Slow ball, but in the slot and dealt with brutally. He has no protection on the boundary on the offside. Does Carlos Brathwaite except the third man? And there's confusion there, a chance for a run out, direct hit. Needed a direct hit. I think Emmert committed to that single, was sent back by Dwayne Bravo. Took a little time to turn. Direct hit might have had him in some trouble, yes, he would have been gone. That's not what they would have needed at this time. Pull away. This could be out. Can it be taken? It is taken. And Dwayne Bravo, the last remaining hope for the Trinidad and Tobago Red Force has just been dismissed. Carlos brought with the man with the wicket. Jonathan Drakes, the man taking the catch. And the Red Force slip into further trouble. 66 for eight. This one dug into the pitch. Bravo going for the pull shot. No control, no connection. Simple catch in the end. Yeah, just throwing his wicket away. Dwayne Bravo, he was batting excellent. And that's the first failure in terms of his shot selection. He goes for 27. The Red Force, 66 for eight. And that squirted through the offside. May challenge the boundary. Good save in the end there from Keon Otley, limiting them to just two runs at the end of 22 overs, 72, to 72 for eight, the Red Force. dropped the first mistake from Django oh after 24 174 for eight as they come back for two this could be danger no better throw
That's a really good shot. The placement was excellent and also the timing. Overcomes to end. And it's 89 for 8. Well played there to Riyad Emery. in the year is that they're going to carry yes it does that's another wicket bites the dust Otley takes the catch and Carrie Pierre departs that was not a good shot at all totally unnecessary you have so many overs to go you need to bat as long as you can and accumulate as many ones as possible and that was a giveaway, really. Karipia is gone for nine. TNT Red Force slumped a further trouble, 89 for nine. And he's done it. Christopher, Akeem Jordan, correction. He's just put his name in the history books. Best bowling analysis against Trinidad and Tobago by a CCC bowler. A spell of 10 overs, four maidens, five for 18, has eclipsed Christopher Powell, who in 2014 2015 had five for 22 against Trinidad and Tobago. Well done, Akeem Jordan. Take a bow. I think he's going to take a swing now. I just sense he's going to do something big. There it is, in the air, chance for a catch, catch taken, they've just equaled their lowest total in Super 50 cricket, 92, you just felt that Rampal wanted to hit and take a swing, and that of course is their lowest against CCC. I was just going to tell you before the delivery was bowled that it's all good and well to try and bat long, but if you're not scoring and then you get out, it will it all be a waste of time. So you got to try and score. Yeah, I just sensed it. But look, disappointing. That's the word to use for what we just saw from Trinidad and Tobago. A team with all that talent, a team with all that potential just shot out for 92 from a team made up of reserves per se but dedicated committed and they've just shown what you can achieve with hard work carlos braffitt take a bow for your troops an absolutely disappointing total of 92 all out the lowest total that they've equaled against ccc in super 50 cricket and my goodness it was a devastation only 27 runs there scored by deja bravo in probably his last match to Trinidad and tobago but the news was about akeem jordan and his five wicket haul five for 18 the best figures ever by a bowler against trinidad and tobago the other bowlers i thought chipped in quite well to limit trinidad and tobago to just 92. I'm sure that the Trinidad and Tobago team are still shell-shocked. But when we come back on the highlight show, CCC will be going after just 93 runs to try and win this encounter and for a place in the final on Sunday. Stay tuned for coming attractions. Since it's not a big total to face, just play him out, not take too many chances. Look to get runs off the other bowlers but let's see what happens here we go oh! using the new ball so you can expect that he'll if he doesn't get that much turn he'll get some drift on the money already so on the line it's got a slip in place as well for that one that goes straight on or the other way well ball, well ball. Oi. 
and the CCC open their account. Hit this ball behind him, Sunil Narayan. So give the batsman as little time as possible to see which, how it was coming out of the fingers. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Very much like the delivery that Lendl Simmons got from Jermaine Levy. Carbon copy, really. Looks like the batsman was deeper in his crease. That's got some bat, and it's taken. Dwayne Bravo moving swiftly from slip to scoop that one up, but clearly spinning in, taking that inside edge into the pad and uh, that's all he needed yeah, there were two songs two noises that were heard there Carl Corbin has to go for two CCC three for one and he's hiding the ball behind his back again yes, yes, Django is not impressed and uh, just square drives that one for four Playing with the kind of confidence it makes you wonder if it makes you realize that he must be reading. And in the main, wicket keepers are pretty good at that. That was pretty ordinary fielding. That's the thing about it. He was quickly on to Django when he came to the wicket, Nicholas Puran, to chirp in his ear. But the minute he got a chance to feel the ball, he misfielded it. And every time a single is scored, a boundary is scored, it will deflate this Trent to be a Red Force team. Well, he's gotten that one through as well, and Puran not able to hold on, and it's four more. So clearly not intimidated here, Amir Django, and he's got the ball rolling for CCC. Naran just beckoning for. Nicholas Puran to be switched from that position but you have to factor in douche that Nicholas Puran is a wicket keeper so if there's any element of doubt in terms of that we have to give him the benefit that has been hit and hit very hard into the stand at straight mid wicket six We've seen that he's very competent on the pull shot in the previous games. Had a few against Miguel Cummins earlier. On this occasion, Ravi Rampol is a man banging it in short and getting the treatment over wide long on. Six runs to Keon Utley. Very good on the short ball. Well, that's gone through down the leg side, through the keeper and into the Super Cup sign. That'll be five wides. Yeah. Dennis Ramden is usually better at those takes down the leg side. On this occasion, unable to hold that in. Last ball. That's driven beautifully. No need to move for that. CCC go to 29 for one after five. Anything that's loose, anything that's full, they're prepared to go after it. Not just a matter of surviving soon on the Rhine. They've got some boundaries off him al already. Cannot okay, is also prepared to take on the short ball. So I really like this approach. And chasing a small total, sometimes you just want to go out there and bat. It's all about scoring runs. That's in the air. I don't think he'll get away with that. Emrit overhauls it and Rangu's got to go. Yeah, that's a good catch there from Riyad Emrit running back. 
Changu trying to go over the top. Didn't get enough bat on it. Emirates keeping his eyes on the ball. Stretching and taking a good catch there. Ravi Rampal strikes. Amir Jangu, the man dismissed. Goes for seven. He goes for 11, beg your pardon. CCC Maroonas, 29 for two. Now that's a shot. That is a shot on the up. Excellent shot there from Keon Utley. Crush through the offside. Not a half volley either. Back a length ball just through the line of that. Getting four runs. Moves on to 14. That's Keon Utley. And uh, that yeah. one's gone in the air, but same result. Back-to-back -back boundaries here for Keon Utley. This one was a bit fuller, got the same treatment. On the up, over the top, good flow of the bat, good connection, good placement as well. It's very confident is Keon Utley. Wants to get this game over before the interval, it seems. Needs to exercise a little caution as well. Just decided to go after that one. A bit wider from Rampal. Well, inside out. Over cover. And four more. He's dealing in boundaries, Utley. What was good about this was the fact that it was a percentage shot, a high percentage shot. No man, no person positioned out on the offside boundary. Decided to go over that direction, inside out. Good shot, good execution. That is a wonderful delivery from the Rhine to start. Certainly was a beautiful delivery. Look at that. Pitched and left. To be quite honest with you, Tino, I am not all that surprised that the CCC are playing so well. They've played some wonderful cricket throughout this tournament. Yes, I'll have to admit, I never expected them to bowl out. TNT, TNT Red Force for 92. But I always expect them to give them a good one for the money. You understand? Even though. That one is lofted. Over long off. Come back for the two. But I like the way Otley is in batting. Get back to your points, so currently. Even though. When I was asked who I'm going to fancy to make the finals between these two teams, I said to Barry then. Wonderful, good little clip. 50 up as well. You're only going to deal with two. And that's good cricket. No need to get any run outs. So currently. I did say to Barry then that it should be a good contest between both teams because CCC are really playing well. Bad, bad shot from Jonathan Drakes. Not, it, not what is required at this, this moment. Playing the V, don't need to sweep. But Kerry Pierre, he gets his first wicket. I have a look at that, so Curly. Pitched in line, would have hit middle and leg. Not a very good attempt, really. That was unnecessary, uncalled for. Jonathan Drakes is going for three. CCC Marooners, 52 for three.
The 2018-2019 Super 50 Cup has been brought to you by Cricket West Indies. Having a look here at the batting cards to see who's to come next. Profit is there. Young Curtin, he has a good head on his shoulders. Nick Otley, Katoy, Jordan. They're good players. Good batsmen as well. You just need to just bat in the right out. This will be a very interesting passage of play right here. Uh, having a look at the ball in the Ryan, a wicked piece for everyone. Hey. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, this should be a very interesting play. contest here. So, Curtly. All what Bartweet and Utley has to do is just to make sure that Sunil Narayan doesn't get any more wickets. It doesn't matter. Good shot. The reverse sweep by Captain Carlos Bartweight brings him four runs. Dangerous though. Dangerous, but yet stunning. That's a wonderful reverse sweep because he went for four. And if he didn't execute it well and he got out, he would have been blasting him. Like that, just like that. Nice and loopy. A little slower, enticing Carlos Rafi. Oh yes, a little slower. Going down clearly. Well, the support is in for the Marooners. A lot of the university students, I can tell you, have to get in the finals. A lot of them will be down here on Sunday. And that's a slug sweep. Watch out, Alexis Nunes. It's gone all the way, a flat six by Carlos Braffitt. He nearly took out our very own Alexis Nunes. Oh my golly, and that's his friend as well. That was a good blow. And Alexis, couple of stride forward, get away from that. But that was a good blow by Carlos Braffitt. He did powerfully, and look at that, Alexis skipping forward. Oh, good single. Good batting by these two. 29, 28. Beg your pardon. Required now for the Marooners to pull off what would be the biggest upset that I have ever seen in, in regional Super 50 cricket. Stunning. Lovely inside out for flat six. That shot alone is the price of admission. That is the sensational shot. Oh yes, the Douglas love it. Oh, so currently, talk me through this. That was an extremely powerful shot. Look at that, inside out. It's never the easiest shot to play. Flat over extra cover for six. Beautiful. Oh, six more. Back to back sixes for Otley. He is not mucking around with this score. Stunning, stunning from the Marooners. Oh yes, this has to be one of the biggest upsets on the way happening here at the KO. Now after 13 overs, 77 for three. Oh, look at this. Thank you very much. Stunning, nice and cheeky by Carlos Braffitt. Dwayne Bravo had no chance. And that's good in provision by, by Carlos Rafi. That's his father on screen as well. In the yellow shirt. Good hands. Very, very cheeky by Captain Carlos Bartwaite. Just eluded Dwayne Bravo at first slip. Look at that. He really tried to get hold of it, but couldn't quite get to it. As the CCC Marooners inch closer to victory here. Yes, and it, it was intentionally done by Carlos Raffitt as well. They put in a second slip. I think Carlos should go straight into Farmer's Choice. Catch him! Well, big edge again. Oh, 
Two boundaries could finish it. And this has really been an outstanding performance by CCC Marooners. Oh, oh. bowling boy, cap, bowling cap. A ball by Harry Pierre. A little yeah, bit of drift as well. Great. So Dwayne Braff will not get in the send off like Chris Gale. He will be disappointed, but he's been a wonderful servant of West Indies cricket. I wish him all the best in the near future. Oh, yeah. well, Carlos yeah. Braffitt looking to end this as quickly as possible. Not executing that sweep shot or sweep, slug sweep on this occasion. 11, so currently 11. Make that, make that five. It's a long way over the Grigian handstand. That was a massive six by Captain Carlos Bartwick. Reminiscing of the T20 finals a couple of years ago, Tino. Yes, indeed. Bring balls, bring balls. That has been struck in the new Kensington Mall. That has gone a mile. Oh, Carlos Braffitt loves it. Oh, look at that. Bring balls, Mr. Umpire. That has gone out of the Kensington Oval and over into the mall. He has gone for a drink. Kensington Mall is a new ball out there. He has gone a mile. Oh, stunning stuff by the CCC Marooners. Five needed. Oh, look at that. Powerfully struck by the big man. And when he gets a hold of them, you know, they stay hit. You can ask Ben Stokes. Oh, he's being nice to carry Pierre. Five. This has been a flogging. Uh, the Marooners have really handed the Trinidad and Tobago right force. That's punched. Easy for four. Scores are level to end the 15th over. The Marooners are one away from an emphatic victory here. And going into their second final as well. Look at that. A long hop and dealt with beautifully by Carlos Braffitt. He's been embarrassed. I can tell you that. Look, I'll tell you what, Sir Curly. The bowling from the top from Akeem Jordan is one of the best pals and it is the best bowling performance by any bowler in the history of regional cricket when it comes to 50 over format against Trinidad and Tobago. Oh, good stuff from the Marooners. They have come to play, they have stunned. And when I say stun is an understatement, they have flogged the Trinidad and Tobago right force here at Kensington Oval. Sonina Ryan still keeping it tight, but it's a case of too little, too late. Well, they needed more runs yeah, if you're going to bring someone like Sonina Ryan into the equation of getting you a victory. Can't defend 93 on his own. Struck to Ravi Rampal. Dwayne Bravo in, didn't even have to bowl. Kyron Pollard, Rihanna Emmerich. None of them, not even Jason Mohammed, got an opportunity to bowl whatsoever. They've been pure dominance by the Marooners. Awesome. Yeah. It's always going to be very, very difficult to defend 92 runs. If the TNT Red Force had gotten to, let's say, 150, it could have been an interesting game. But 92, it was always going to be difficult. Even though they got a very potent bowling attack. Well. Well. We have to wait for another over as that comes to an end. Well, the CC Marooners, they are not watching any face, as we say here in Barbados. They're not watching face, they're not watching names whatsoever. They have come to play. And this has been clearly the biggest crowd we've seen throughout this tournament. And I am quite sure we'll see even a bigger one on Sunday. Absolutely. A lot of UE students as well in the stands. They're absolutely loving it. Well, it's only one shot away from a stunning flogging being handed to the right force by the Marooners. 
And that's, and that's it. Good win by the Marooners. Stunning win. They have come to play security and they have stunned the Trinidad and Tobago Red Force. They certainly came to play and didn't they play extremely well. It was just a one horse race, really. It was all CCC Marooners from the get go. And uh, the, the, the UWE fans are here in support. Petro Collins tried to hold back a smile, but of course he's elated. And there's a terrible upset here. TNT Red Force going down to see CC Marooners in emphatic fashion. They were never in the game. Well done to CCC. They will meet the guy in the Jaguars in the finals on Sunday. Well, it turned out to be a no contest. CCC blowing away. The big talk about Trinidad and Tobago coming to win. <laughs> and in the end, they won by seven wickets. Quite convincingly. Again, that man at the top, Otley, with a very good batting performance. And the victory means now that they will go forward to play against the Ghana Jaguars come Sunday. The bowling was disappointing. Perhaps Narayan with the early wicket fluttered uh, the hearts of many. But in the end, just three wickets fell and they didn't really bother a fly. Easy victory then for the CCC as they step into Sunday's finale. We look forward to that. It was a no-brainer. The man of the match was Akeem Jordan for his 5 for 18. Really bold, sensational. And uh, we look forward to see what he has to offer for the West Indies uh, for the future and indeed for CCC. So congratulations then to the CCC Marooners into the final on Sunday. We are sure to have some highlights and I hope they're as exciting as they have been in these two semi-finals. Until then, bye-bye for now.